Here we are getting ready to load it up, head over to the island for a week of backpacking. What was it, like five nights, six days? We are in Grand Portage, about what, 10 miles from the Canadian border. And this is our ride, two hours on the Voyageur 2. Did I say that right? Voyageur. Voyageur? Yeah. which means the good place, which has been named by the Grand Band Portage of Lake Superior Chippewa. The Lake Superior Chippewa cared for this ancestral land in time immemorial by both their tribes of the Ojibwe and Anishinaabe people. As you explore the good place, don't take in what it has to offer you, but also what you have to offer it. Your choices here will affect those who are staying here and the surrounding wilderness around you. So, we want to explain of how you can keep Isle Royal wild. So, I'll be saying, Isle Royal is so wild, and I want you all to say how wild is it, as loud as you can, all right? Isle Royal is so wild. How wild is it? 99% of Isle Royal is designated wilderness. So, that means we uh, have no before you go. We have limited services here on the island. So that means Wi-Fi, cell phone service, Facebook, Instagram, all of that, you will not be able to access here. So that means uh, please be careful as you go along. Uh, when it is the weather right now, it looks like it'll be raining. For the next two days, it might get sunnier, but uh, I will warn you, Lake Superior weather is nothing to always be guaranteed on. It can change on a whim, so it's basically 50-50 shot, but hopefully the weather will still be nice by the end of the week. All right, this is where we'll end and what well, Sunday. So we're gonna get, get back on the boat. We had our orientation, got our permit. We're gonna hop back on the boat and head to Macarga Cove and stay there for the night. our camp set up. Um, the boat ride was long but lovely and now we're having this <laughs> gorgeous lunch. We've got a little bit of wine we were able to bring with us, some smoked lake trout from the fisherman's daughter in Grand Marais, some yummy crackers and cheese. And Nick is happy. So we're here. We're, we made it. We're going to enjoy this and our campsite is beautiful and all the shelters were taken but that was okay because we ended up here at the top of the hill nobody even. then there's nobody else up here right now so we've got it all to ourselves for the time being and that might change and that's okay too but um we've got this beautiful space to enjoy
All right, we're getting ready to eat our first dinner on the island. We're gonna start with the heaviest dinner first, which is the garden, Trautopia garden vegetable pasta. So that should be good. Um, we've already seen a bald eagle, a red fox, some loons, and a huge bull moose. And we haven't even started hiking yet, so we're just camping here at McCargo Cove, but really cool so far. And the sun's popped out, so that's awesome. So I'm gonna play some cards here, relax, and probably get hit the hay early. <laughs> Man, they're still going. Are they getting away from the beaver? Any fox last year, and we came like three this year. This is crazy. It's like a wildlife safari. <laughs> So we're at Mount Cargo Cove and now we're seeing all sorts of birds and beavers and <laughs> fox. Oh, he's having fun. Oh, he's showing off. He's your namesake. <laughs> oh, sh there's no food there. <coughs> These are water bottles. Just checking them out. Just water. <laughs> boring. We're boring. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Signing off from McCargo Cove, we're going to go and get cozy in our tent now, but we saw how much wildlife did we see just <laughs> today. It was crazy. All kinds of animals. It's still going on. It's just, it's insane. But it was a lovely evening, so hopefully no rain tomorrow, and we'll hit the trail and do some miles tomorrow. It'll be great.
He's right on the trail. I'm trying to get back up to the tent site. But... Coming up from the dock. You're gonna have to get off the trail, Barler. All right, we just left uh, Macargo Cove. We got a little turn around. We went up to Mingong. A little bit, it was a little confusing and from Macargo Cove to find what trail we're supposed to be on, but we're on chicken bone now. And uh, yeah, it was a great night at Macargo. Uh, lots and tons of wildlife. I kept running into that bull moose. I ran into it in the morning, went down to the dock, and then I had to wait about 10 or 15 minutes to get back up to our campsite because it just was foraging right on the trail. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, Anna's back there foraging on thimbleberries. I think there's some ripe ones and it looks like we're gonna, maybe by the end of the week, all of them will be ripe because they look like they're really close. But yeah, we're heading up to the Greenstone Trail. And once we hit that, we're gonna head over to our campsite at Hatchet Lake. So I'll take you along with me, or us, for this trip. All right, we made it up to the green stem. We'll be on this for a while. We're gonna head down the Hatchet Lake and that's where our campsite will be. So 7.2 down the Hatchet Lake, beautiful day. All right, so these are thimble berries and they're starting to get ripe. So we're finding these little dudes and they are delicious. And um, they're called thimble berries because when they pop off, basically it's like a thimble in your um, thumb there. And they taste so good. I know I've described this before, but to me it tastes like strawberry nerds. And we have just been foraging on these all day. So hopefully by the end of the week, all these other ones are gonna be red like that when I'm ready to go. Good stuff. Trails have been a little overgrown. Indian Portage Trail and so far the uh, Greenstone. So it is August, so. Not too bad, you can still pick up the trail pretty easily. There's Lake Superior out there. Gorgeous. some blueberries up here too we've been picking adding it to the berry list the forage on the island and this breeze is just amazing 
I know loves all the grasshoppers. <laughs> They're a delicacy in some countries. Yeah. They pay good money for grasshoppers. A la mood. What's that? Got a few more miles to Hatchet Lake. Just did another climb. Look at this. Really awesome. So we're gonna take a break here and just uh, grab a quick bite and fuel up for the next three miles to Hatchet Lake. Squeaky wheel. Hatchet Lake with this storm rolling in on us. We got in just in time, got set up. All right, we're at Hatchet Lake, we just made it in. Um, right before the rain started, there's some thunder in the distance, but it seems like it's kind of letting up a little bit, so that's good. Um, but we did get set up, and we had some dinner. We had uh, Dottie's Chicken and Dumplings with Packet Gourmet, which was really good. First time I had that, and uh, Anna really liked it too. So that was nice to get some warm food in our bellies. Um, so we're just going to, hopefully the rain will stop so we can get down the lake and listen to the loons. But if not, we'll probably just have an early bedtime tonight and maybe get up early tomorrow and hit the trail early because we are heading to um, South Desore Lake which isn't too far away it might be our shortest stay on this trip but um, we can stop and rest and just kind of enjoy scenery on the way so have a good night
this is a thimbleberry plant. See the leaf? And then under here, there is a ripe berry that I am going to put in my oatmeal this morning. And they're called a thimbleberry because it's like a little thimble that can go over your thumb. Here is breakfast at Hatchet Lake on a prepared what is it, uh, or, um, oats with? Overnight oats with chia and coconut sugar, cinnamon, and then wild blueberries and thimbleberries. Provided by our Royal National Park, right off the bush. Looks delicious, can't wait. Thimbleberries, thimbleberries, thimbleberries. <laughs> That's what makes us happy. We're still on the uh, Greenstone Trail. We're almost to our little halfway marker. And then we'll probably stop there for quite a bit and chug a bunch of water and eat before doing the other half of the Greenstone to the Desor Trailhead down to our campsite. And it is 12 o'clock right now, Wednesday, August 3rd. Up here at the fire tower. Met a lot of nice people up here. They headed in the direction that we came from and we're heading to the store here in a minute. We just left the, um, I'm gonna slaughter the name, Ish Mapeng uh, Point Fire Tower. I don't know, it's a trail intersection with the Greenstone and the um, Lone Bay Trail, but we stopped there for a good while and had a nice long lunch and break. A lot of people up there had some good conversation. And um, what I think I've noticed is there's a lot of big groups doing trips on the island. So the campgrounds or campsites, whatever you want to call them, do have designated group sites. There's usually about three. And if you have a big group, I think it's six or more, you have to stay at one of the group sites. Um, and then they have usually five or six individual sites and shelters. Um, if you can get a shelter, not all of them have shelters, but, and um, yeah. And then so a couple of privies, but if the individual sites are full, you can go stay at the group site. So usually there is plenty of room for everybody once you get to camp. But we are currently walking through a little bit of rain and uh, woods are beautiful. The greenstone is basically mainly in the woods, but it does pop up on these big open ridges as you've seen with some pretty awesome views. So uh, good mix of the island. Good stuff. Yeah, it's grassy. So we're still on the Greenstone and that is the Sword Lake. So we were camping somewhere down on the shore there somewhere. And then I believe way out there is Canada. 
So this is the first time we've actually had a view on this side of Isle Royale. It's pretty awesome. Good stuff. Is so pretty. That might be chicken of the woods, even though it's not in the rosette on there. It's humongous. I know. All right, we made it. Point through the camp. We are ready. All right, here's our setup here at uh, South Lake DeSor campsite. Pretty nice. Got these beautiful birch trees. And there is DeSor Lake, and there's a little trail just right across there. It's kind of a little steep downhill to get to the water, but not too bad. But um, yeah. Just enjoying our time, relaxing. It's about seven o'clock, so you hear the loon? <laughs> we've been hearing loons all morning and all, everywhere we've been the whole trip. <laughs> so yeah, um, seven o'clock, it gets dark here around 9.40. Um, so it stays light a little later than back home. But yeah. The storm blowing in. Hello, it's day four. We're headed to Siskwit Bay and we think we have a little over five miles to hike to the next trail, right? Island Mind, yeah. It's Island Mind Trail um, and it's a beautiful morning and um, we're just really enjoying being out here. All right, so we're still on the greenstone. We're getting, we got about 1.5 to meet up with Island Mind. And uh, it's been a beautiful walk. These woods are real nice and open. So the treads, super nice and uh, just peaceful here. But uh, 
one thing we're hoping to hear soon or maybe even see if we're super lucky or a wolf so we've been listening for them at night there's about they, the ranger said there's about 28 wolves on the island right now so that would be that would make the trip that would just be the best but yeah the sun's out it's a lot cooler today it was humid yesterday so it makes the hiking a lot more enjoyable and uh yeah just a beautiful area through here all right we made it to the intersection we're gonna have lunch here and then 4.8 down the Sisquit bay and that's where we'll be camping tonight Check this thing out. This is just right off the trail. I guess it's an old steam engine. Looks like it's been here a while. It's pretty buried, but I'm not sure. I know they did um, copper mining here, so I would think that's probably what that was used for. Pretty wild. Just out here in the middle of nowhere. We just popped out on the beach here. Beautiful. Making our way to Siskiwit Bay for the night. Kind of hard to walk on these rocks. So we're going to just take our time. The water is super clear. Let me get up here where the bigger rocks are. I'm keeping that on the video. <laughs> it feels good to sit on the beach. I think we still just need to hike down there and we'll go back in the woods and then our campsite is in that little cove there, right on the other side of there. Water's really clear. It's nice. Is it cold? Oh. Is it cold? Yes. It feels so good though. Wave. 
Isle Royale National Park. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our setup tonight at Siskiwit Bay. We got the last individual site. So we came up that trail, set up here. We're behind both the shelters and we have pretty access to the water and the dock. So we're gonna go down there later and hang out and maybe check out the stars and definitely the sunrise tomorrow. So, and we bonus, we got a picnic table. So it's a lot easier when you have a picnic table, you can cook, put your gear out. And even more importantly, it's not raining. <laughs> so that's, pretty good. Ten point two to Feltman Lake. That's our next campsite. We just left the Squid Bay. I would say probably the prettiest area we've stayed at so far, but the mosquitoes were the worst. <laughs> so we're getting an earlier start. So cute. You're so cute. Oh. <laughs>
Hey, buddy. They all look like babies. Yeah. These I little red squirrels are everywhere, and they like to give you, give you hell sometimes. Come on, buddy. Oh, you're adorable. Look, it looks like he's like holding his hands I together. Know. All right, we'll we'll leave you alone. I don't like these narrow paths. Yeah. Oh. Maybe that's where you're getting the blisters. It's just like narrow. But it's flat. That's all right. Strawberries. And they taste they're just little, like strawberries. And they're little tiny strawberries, and you know that they're actual strawberries because the seeds are set into the flesh. And they have the best strawberry flavor you'll ever taste. And they hide down under the leaves, so you kind of have to look for them. And they're delicious. They are delicious. I can get Just a tad bit overgrown. <laughs> we are getting a nice car wash this morning now for free. Or a people wash, I guess, since we're not cars. We had to deploy the bug nets on this. We've been on it for about two and a half, three miles. We're doing the, I think we're on the Feldman Ridge Trail out of Siskiwit, heading towards Feldman Lake, and it's been pretty overgrown the whole way. So, the bugs are loving it. And we are just doing some serious bushwhacking. breeze is wonderful.
that's probably a good 100, 150 foot drop. <laughs> These ferns are like something out of Jurassic Park. They're all over. I'm nice to camp, but the sky's in my way. I think he's gonna hop off the log here in a minute. I gotta step over you, I guess. So here's our setup at Feltman Lake Campground. So we're number one, there's a tent. And look at that, we have amazing access down to the lake and there's a little beach down there. We just got done sitting down there and there was a moose feeding. We watched it for a while, but it was pretty far across the lake. But um, And then there's a beaver swimming around out there that's keeping us entertained. But you're ready to cook dinner. We were going to go down the Rainbow Cove and watch the sunset, but looks like rain might be rolling in. So we'll see what happens. So I've been following these moose prints down the beach that's by our um, campsite. As you can see, it's beautiful. And then I looked over by the moose track and I saw a wolf track. So there's definitely a story here. Alright, it's uh, 8 o'clock and we're just going to cruise on down the Rainbow Cove and check it out. Heard it's worth it. Second, get you gumi.
Jesus' name. <laughs> Do you want some coffee? <laughs> Is there an egg scramble? He's like, no, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, here's our tent and there's the little moose. And he's moving. He's coming right. Yeah, he's going to town on that tree. Look at his eyes. He does remind me of like Dougal. Hi, Kitty. Yeah, you know you're a good moose. I thought we would die any second. Right, now on the way to Wendigo, 8.5. We were looking forward to it. Get some food and some drinks and just relax, maybe a shower or two. Flush toilets. Flush toilets. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, you gotta really watch them. <laughs> We're getting close to Wendigo. I think we have about three and a half miles, maybe. And then it's another point through the Washington Creek campground for our last night on Isle Royale National Park. So an awesome awesome trip i think we both really enjoyed it so kind of bittersweet into the end i mean we're ready for showers and all that other fun stuff but i will definitely miss this place return trip i don't know there's so many other cool places to see but i see why a lot of people do come back here it's um pretty amazing place All right, so we just made it to Washington Creek Campground. It's right near Wendigo, and we were able to grab this shelter, which was super nice, and it's right on Washington Creek. And um, we we're also able to go up to the Wendigo store, grab us a pizza and some local beers, which was a treat, and grab some showers. So, oh, what and by the way, Nick, look at this fox. Oh, and look at there's a fox <laughs> that just ran into our campsite. <laughs> Oh.
Oh. <laughs> oh, it's like stealthy. It's laying down on the trail. What are you doing, buddy? Isn't that scrappy? I don't know. That might be scrappy. They said there is a fox around here that's taking some people's foods. Scrappy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Godspeed, little friend. What are you? What, what in the world is that thing? Wow. What are you doing, buddy? What are you? We're gonna figure it out. So that's the store up there and they it's very important to know where that's at because they have beer and pizza and a bunch of good supplies so and the visitor center is just right there and then you got where the boats and the float planes come in it's pretty much when to go and then the restrooms and showers which are super important Adios from Isle Royal National Park. We had a great time on this beautiful island. We're just sitting here waiting for our ferry to take us back to Grand Portage and um, head home. We'll be staying in Silver Bay, Minnesota tonight, so adventure's not over yet. Here comes our ride, the Voyager 2. That's you guys. That's that us. Wasn't here yesterday, wasn't it? Um, it was in no, it was in um, it was in um, Rock Harbor last night. So, 